Hey, today we are doing a tutorial of Nextiva. So if you're thinking about getting this for your business, we're gonna be highlighting some of the key points, but if you watch this video, it's gonna get you up and running a lot faster as well after you get signed up. So speaking of sign up, what you're looking at on the screen right now is the sign up process, kind of abbreviated. So you can pick out your phone number. One thing to highlight with this though is the toll free number. It is two and a half cents per minute. So just be aware of that if you're using that in your business. Uh, and then as you go through, one of the common questions is, are you able to port over or transfer a phone number? As you can see, that is part of the sign up process at this point as well. So I wanted to tease three things that we're gonna be talking about in this video. And this one right here is the gamification tool. So this is great for getting more engagement from your employees. We're also gonna be talking about setting up call forwarding on different phone numbers. And more specifically, if you have a team that is working remotely, this is super helpful in case somebody has an internet outage or an ISP problem. And lastly, we're gonna be talking about a demo call flow, sometimes referred to as a phone tree. So this image right here, we're gonna go through it and show you exactly what it looks like when you're setting up that phone tree or call flow. Now I'm saying we, because I actually partnered with Nextiva for this video. I went through a 30 plus minute demo for them and I've condensed it down. And as you can tell from the screen, placed in a bunch of edits just to make things a little bit more clear and concise for you as you're going through here and adding extra context for you as well. Now I mentioned that because I do appreciate it. If you use my affiliate link in the description below, I may receive a commission if you use my link, but you still get the best possible promos and pricing available. All right, at this point in the video, we're gonna to toss it over to Brad, who is a product expert, has been working with Nextiva for 10 years and walking you through this condensed demo version of Nextiva. What we see on the screen here right now is the Nextiva admin portal. Um, so as an administrator of the account, you will have full access uh, for to really manage any moves, ads, and change uh, from provisioning of new users to modifying um, call flows or, or tier one help desk tickets for any existing users that exist on the account. The majority of your activity is going to be taking place under the voice overview um, and this really gives you access to the two main areas that we see uh, most commonly used when managing a Nextiva account and that would be the current existing users who reside on the account as well as call flow so the journey customers take as they navigate through the system as i mentioned you know consolidation is really the name of the game quick easy access to the features and the tools that are needed um, so that it allows admins to get in, make the change that they need um, to make, and then move on with their day. You know, when we look at user management, this is really going to be the bulk of any moves, ads, and changes that come down the pipeline, uh, whether it be provisioning new users uh, through the create user option here, and the ability to fill out a simple form, assign a license, and have a user now active on the account. Um, or if it comes down to managing existing users. Now, these would be individuals who have already been provisioned um, and need some changes made to their profile or some assistance from you know, internal IT help desk. We look at the voice settings here. Again, everything is under a single roof. So as I access this user's profile, I can make changes to any of their basic settings, such as DID assignments and extensions control their assigned devices. Uh, so if we're playing musical chairs with phones in the office, easily be able to add a device to a user simply by clicking on the make and model and hit and save. Now, as we move on down into some of the advanced features, now we're getting into features specific to the license assigned to that user. Now, as an example here, Busy Lamp Field is a commonly used feature when monitoring extensions on physical phones. Uh, this is not a manual process to configure. So here it's just a matter of toggling the feature on and selecting the users that you would like to monitor. Once I hit save, I can then go ahead and reorder them through drag and drop activities. When we move over out of users and into call flow design, I'll hop back over to our, our voice. Uh, one thing that Nextiva has brought to our portal is a really well thought out design studio for call flow management. Traditionally, call flows are a challenge. You have to build each and every component individually and quilt work everything together and you know, frankly cross your fingers and hope that everything flows correctly. You know, with Nextiva, we've built in a design studio to allow admins to really architect a call flow from the moment their customer picks up the phone all the way to the, the final result in a single page with that bird's eye view. Uh, so here we'll see the, a pretty standard call flow. Uh, it always starts off with how to callers enter into this route. In this case, assigning a primary phone number to the call flow. From there, I can then go ahead and query business hours. Nextiva does not charge for individual services within a call flow. So these can be as simple or as complex as needed uh, without affecting your monthly recurring cost or the 
and spend the company incurs to keep the system live. In this particular scenario, so the first query is business hours to determine if this location is currently open. Um, and then an if then statement decides which branch to continue on down. So if a call is presented, business is open. We're then routing this to what we refer to as a team or commonly referred to as a call group. In the event that that team is not available, it then continues on down the branch. One of the features that we've built in here, um, and this really allows you to make changes in a safe environment, is the ability to duplicate existing call flows. So as an example, callers would have the ability to take a live call flow like we see here, duplicate this, and then make any necessary changes in a safe sandbox environment, knowing that they're not working on that production call flow. Once the changes have been made, you then go ahead and assign that main DID. And from there, the call flow is now live. So it does, does give admins kind of a safe space to do some development work uh, without running the risk of affecting a production environment. We will provide number management. Um, so as your account continues to grow, your list of available phone numbers uh, will also continue to grow. Um, and this section gives you an easy way to manage all of those numbers from that top down level to see exactly what is currently assigned and what numbers are available for use. And more importantly, how those numbers are current be, currently being leveraged. As you can see here, we have a variety of different voice numbers and anything that would be labeled as fax would be labeled as such. Um, again, majority of your time is gonna be spent under the manage user section uh, for either managing existing or provisioning new users and then call flow design and management. One of the tools that we do provide um, that we, we refer to as Nextiva Analytics. Um, and this is a reporting tool. So this allows users to go ahead and report on the activities, you know, giving them some insights into their call volumes that traditionally aren't available uh, without you know, stepping into the full contact center or call center realm. Uh, with Nextiva Analytics, it's broken into three categories, reporting, monitoring, and then analytics. And think of this as a past, present, and a future approach to the same data. So here in the reporting section, we're looking at all traffic that has come in or out of the phone system over whatever date range we've selected. So from here, when we move over now, from the monitoring section, we're looking at real-time information. So what's currently taking place in the system today, um, the various different metrics that I can report on. Uh, for example, if I wanted to take a look at more of some of my international calling or monitor missed calls. You know, as I check boxes, you'll see those columns appear over here. And it really allows admins to build their own customized environment. Uh, with wallboards, we'll also provide the same type of data, but more in a tile summary view, uh, rather than the dashboard line item that we saw before. One of the features that we see used quite often, especially in a sales or organization, um, is a tool we refer to as gamification. Um, and what this allows you to do is really build a running leaderboard based on metrics that are important to you and your team. We use this in our inside sales team to kind of spur, you know, more activity uh, with our sales reps, especially if you're talking about outbound engagement. So here I can have the running leaderboard and dress it up with a different theme and choose which metric I would like to report on. As information comes into the system, these figures will update and people will jockey for that top spot. As I mentioned, we use this in our inside sales team tools or as a tool in our inside sales team. And we saw about a 30 to 35 percent uptick in activity simply by putting a leaderboard in front of a group of highly competitive people. Finally, when we move over into Nextiva Analytics, again, we're looking at the same data, but now we're looking at this through a trend analysis and a forecasting point of view. Uh, so here I have the ability to drill down into individual locations, call groups, users, or even individual phone numbers. Uh, so depending on your role in the company, you'll be able to manipulate the data to support any insights that you're looking to gather rather than just that one size fit all report. When we look at trend analysis, I can also do a period over period comparison. Uh, say for example, I'm comparing Q1 versus Q2, you know, how did we trend as far as our call volume moving up? Um, I can also, when I dr drill into a location, do a comparison between the two. So maybe I have location A that's just seeing massive amounts of call volume. Well, what are we doing in, Atlanta that we're not doing in our, our, our separate site to cause a 1700% increase in total call volume. So again, depending on your role in the company, you're gonna look at this data through a different lens, uh, but the tool that we've built really allows individuals to access the information in a way that's easily consumable, while also not requiring a master's degree in Excel just to pull some, some data from your phone system. I'm going to take this opportunity to kind of look at some of the end user tools. So what do we provide the general employee and how do they access the system? 
So when I look at my options here, and we'll kind of clean this up, uh, the most commonly used tool in the Nextiva platform is the Nextiva soft phone application. Um, you know, this has seen massive increase in usage over the last two years with the whole work from home initiative. You know, it's much easier to send a headset home with a user rather than requiring them to network a physical phone. And when we look at the Nextiva soft phone application, we will provide presence information. Um, presence can either be manually set by the user or determined by the system. Um, in this case, it's picking up that I have a meeting on my Outlook calendar and it's re representing that in the app. So that tagline is being displayed to all of my colleagues, much like you see down here. And this allows me to have a good idea of, you know, who's available, who's not, who's currently working from their mobile app. And it really gives me kind of that clear picture of what resources are available to me as I look at my, my list of, of internal colleagues. Each user will be able to customize their own contact list by adding in the people that they work with on a frequent basis. Uh, we will auto-populate the entire enterprise directory. Now, in my current environment, I don't work with 2,400 people every single day. Uh, so I've developed my unique contact list here to make it easier to find the individuals that I frequently interact with in my day-to-day -day duties. As we move on down, the app is a full functioning soft phone app, meaning we will provide collaboration tools for internal chat. Um, so here I can see any of my previous chat conversations I've had with colleagues. As you can see, we use this quite frequently. And as I continue to move on, I'll also have any of my previous call logs. Um, with the Nextiva soft phone application, obviously we're looking at the desktop version, uh, but this also doubles as a mobile app with the same feature and functionality that's available to the users on the desktop. So whether a user is sitting at their desk, making and taking calls, or happens to be more on the go, they'll always be connected back to the Nextiva phone system through either the desktop or the mobile application. And when we look at our call logs, this is a fully federated list, meaning every call that has come in and out of my profile or my extension will be represented here, uh, regardless of what application I used to make that call. And that same concept holds true for voicemail. So users will have access to voicemail to actually listen to them directly into the app. This would be in addition to voicemail, the email um, or our voicemail transcription services. Obviously, at any point in time, a user can simply just call into their voice portal like we've been doing for you know, the last couple decades. As I mentioned, the soft phone is a full functioning soft phone application. So it's not just a thin client that relies on another device, um, but it does allow me to go ahead and dial directly from the application. Um, there's also click to dial capabilities. And from here, I have options of whether or not I want to place a video call. So if the user that I'm calling supports video, uh, next to will push that, that video information as well or simply just a voice call. Finally, users will have some basic self-service options uh, that they can manage. So as a user, I do have the ability to manage my call forwarding settings uh, by just simply toggling a feature on and setting a destination. And there's also some different options based on different scenarios, such as what happens if a call is busy, what happens when I'm unable to answer it, or when I'm not reachable. Uh, this is generally reserved for a disaster recovery option in the event that we are unable to find an active application for that user. The system can reroute calls to a predetermined destination, assuming that there's some type of ISP or power outage that's not allowing that user to be actively online. At any point in time, admins can always override these features, but we do give users some basic control over the profile so that not every change has to go through your IT help desk. Lastly, built into the Nextiva application is a, is a group collaboration environment. Um, and this is what we refer to as my room. So you'll notice that this is more of a one-to-many environment, uh, whereas the previous chat environment that we were looking at was more of that one-to-one -one communication. So here I'll have the, the ability to go through and drag and drop and bring individuals into my room by simply inviting them. You'll notice that this is now pending. As soon as Andrea joins, she'll be actively in the room. In the event that you know our conversation gets a little bit more in depth than what can just be handled by chat, I'll always have a set of dial-in conference number so that we can take this chat conversation and move this in more into a, an audio conference. Now you'll also notice that we do support external part participants. This would then go ahead and provide me details that I could send to an external user to join in on this audio conference and allowing users to really live in a single application for both internal and external communication. 
Now, I hope you found this demo as helpful as I did. And what we have on the screen right here is an overview of Nextiva. So if you're looking at how it compares to other services and tools in the marketplace, I highly suggest that you check out that video because I'm gonna walk you through that. And again, I appreciate you using my link in the description below to help support my YouTube channel. All right, I'll catch you in that next video.